right, this is Anthony Nunez. And today I'm gonna have a video trying to talk about one of the questions that I get often as a realtor when I'm on the field. So we'll be looking at properties and eventually the buyer finds a property that they like and they'll look at me and they'll say, hey, the property is listed at X amount. How much can we haggle? Or can we haggle? Can we do a low ball offer? And that's when I go back and I say, maybe, maybe we can haggle. And they were, what do you mean, maybe? I thought we could haggle everything. I thought, and I'm like, we can. But that doesn't mean that the property is going to come down, that the seller is actually going to haggle with us because there's various factors that come into play. The main factor that comes into play is the law of supply and demand. So in economics, if you remember your high school economics course, they talked about supply and demand. In real estate, su the supply is our inventory. So how many properties are out there in a specific zip code that people want to look at? And that varies, that varies by block. It can vary by block. So I know off the top of my head, for two bedroom, two bath, co-ops or condos in a specific zip code, myself personally, I got six people that, would, that I would have to jump on and say, let's go see this property if a new inventory were to come on the market. And that's just for one zip code. And that's just me, one realtor, right? So the amount of buyers that are gonna jump on this are gonna impact the, the price point because the seller now, at, at, when they list, they know they have a whole bunch of buyers. So what else impacts? The price, the price. Let's say that a given house or a given community has an average price sale of 500,000. So at 500,000, you get regular volume regular amount of foot traffic and one property comes on the market and they list it at 600,000. So with supply and demand, you would assume that unless it has something extraordinary, it's going to get a little bit less foot traffic. Maybe you get one or two people putting bids and that might be the pulse that you could haggle. Average sales of 500,000. This seller was being a little difficult, wanted to list at 600,000. And that's the house that you might be able to haggle with. But what about that same house? They go out and they list it at 500,000, which is the average price. You're gonna assume that you're gonna get a good amount of traffic and it's priced competitive for the market because it's right there in line with the average. Now, if we go back and we do that same house and the, there's some, a pinch to sell quick, and you, and you list it at 400,000, then we know that all buyers will be full steam ahead, full competition, multiple bids probably, and the price, you're not gonna be able to haggle. People are gonna see average price of 500,000, they're gonna go out there and they're gonna, they're gonna put significantly above asking if it's a hot market, right? So can you haggle really depends on What's the inventory? Are there a lot of properties in that zip code, right? If the buyer doesn't buy this house, is there another house that they could buy? Then, then yeah, then you got room for wiggle because there's multiple options. But if there's only one house that fits a certain criteria and it's priced well, and there's a lot of buyers looking at the area, odds are we're gonna be in a competition and we're gonna have to just outbid people in a competitive market. So what else could cause prices to just start moving upward significantly? Could be a shift in demand curve. So in economics, they talk about a shift in demand curve. What would that look like in real estate? Well, let's say that in the Bronx, for example, you have a brand new ferry system coming in. You have the Metro North coming in. All those public works projects are gonna now push more demand into the housing market and it's gonna cause a shift. So now all these prices anywhere near this Metro North, anywhere near this ferry is gonna go up a little bit above what they would normally go up because there's a new element in play for the market. 